Good morning everyone, this is another session on Vedic Astrology and we will be considering and discussing more points in this video. Now first of all, always remember we were talking about transiting planets and we understood that the transiting planets are always considered with respect to the moon sign okay so uh, your moon sign suppose it is say Virgo okay suppose at the time of birth uh, moon was present in in the sign of Virgo and we are talking about go uh, uh, you know moving Jupiter or Gocher Jupiter in the seventh house for example okay or we are saying uh, Gocher uh, Jupiter in sixth for example it means one two three four five six that means it is here that means Jupiter is in Aquarius that's how uh, we will always consider with respect to the um, moon sign okay so uh, basically transiting means that uh, when they are moving and we understood that uh, during the birth of the person the planets and everything are fixed and uh, whereas the transiting or the uh, moving planets can keep changing your uh, you know can keep changing uh, the signs and based on that you will have different effects now transits of Jupiter and Saturn have strong and long lasting influence we understood that that they are there in the uh, period for one year and they can be there in the other signs for two years and things like that now transits of Saturn is is an important concept so here comes the concepts of Sade Sati or seven and a half years of period it refers to the transit of Saturn okay or uh, transit of Saturn means moving Saturn so that is again referred to as the Gocher Gocher means moving or moving Saturn okay when Saturn transits over the moon okay for two and a half years in each of the three houses that are 12th first and the second okay so when you are uh, when the Saturn is moving over the 12th first okay 12th first and the second now they they are the houses with respect to your moon sign okay so uh, that means uh, Saturn stays in each sign for two and a half years so two and a half years in the 12th first and the uh, in the 12th, 1st and the 2nd house then that will become the Sade Sati period so whenever that is happening that's called Sade Sati so for example it, it's always taken with respect from the moon okay it's always taken with respect to you to the moon for example your moon sign again is this okay so your moon sign was this so the 12th uh, sorry so the uh, uh, 12th will become what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 just before it's so a Leo so whenever it is in Leo Virgo and Libra okay Saturn then that's called the Sade Sati period okay so it's uh, this is usually a great period of hardship and uh, it uh, it can indicate losses uh, mental illness expenditures and uh, it can also mean that the person is uh, you know uh, uh, wealth is being lost, there is problem in with relatives, brothers and sisters so it's not considered to be a good time okay at, at this time things will not go, evil results will come out okay so uh, that is how the Sade Sati means seven and a half years and that means with respect to the moon sign okay with respect to moon I have taken the example as Virgo you come to the twelfth first and the second house if it remains there in these three houses then that's called the Sade Sati period and it causes a lot of ill health and problems to the person we'll be discussing about that more in detail in our further videos I'm Shwetankin to astrology do check my channel for more thank you take care bye bye